It happened again. Central Florida targeted for its catalytic converters by crooks coming from Texas. This time, UCF police make the arrest and broke up the ring. They say at least 25 of the converters were stolen from underneath vehicles, and detectives suspect there are many more cases. They are working on connecting them. New Six's Eric Von Anken is at UCF tonight digging into the latest arrests and how you can protect yourself. Even in the middle of the day, police say these guys were climbing underneath cars and cutting away. They say they were going from parking lot to parking garage, and it seems they say word has gotten out that Central Florida is a hot target. This is what investigators found when they busted the band of catalytic converter crooks at an Orlando airport hotel, they say. A trunk load of the stolen car parts that would have been sold for the precious metals inside. Typically the cars of choice are cars that are, are have greener emissions, just because the greener car's emissions it is, the more of the... Um, the valuable metals that make the catalytic converters expensive. UCF PD uh, detectives Alex DeLuca and Melissa Guadagnino gave us these pictures. They started scouring campus-wide surveillance cameras last week after the first student reported his Honda was hit by the thieves. They zeroed in on this rental car from Texas and worked with the rental car company, they tell us, to track the car across Central Florida. Apartment complexes, shopping centers, um, it was a lot of apartment complexes. Eventually taking to jail these two young men with a saw and a handgun from Houston. They're probably linked in some way. UCF detectives believe the pair is somehow connected with a different set of suspects arrested last month by Orlando police, cutting off converters from cars at hotels near Universal Orlando. Those young men were arrested in a hotel room full of sawed off catalytic converters, also with a gun, according to police. So what can you do, if anything, to protect your catalytic converter? I asked police here that specific question. They say, first of all, if you can, try and park in the middle of a parking lot, ideally under a light or under a camera. Again, if you can. But here's the other thing. So catalytic converters don't have any serial numbers on them. So they say somehow mark yours either with spray paint or etching something into it. They say the idea is thieves might see that and move on to an unmarked converter. At UCF, Eric Von Anken getting results in their six.